Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo leaders, Obaseki will beat Oshomole Ize Iyamu hands down. Wow. Hey, hey. These are leaders talking, you know, you know um, leaders of different category and um, of different institutions and all that. And so these people have uh, people that are under them, that listen to them, that follow them, and what have you. By the way, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, a very warm big thank you to every one of you for your continuous support. We truly, really appreciate you. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Leaders in Edo State are saying that um, Obaseki will beat um, Oshomole and Ize Yamu hands down. My question is, is Oshomole's name on the B, on the ballot boss? Is he uh, contesting? I know for sure that he has been the governor in Edo State for two tenors, which is eight years. He has served his full term as a governor. No other opinion, no other option for him to come back. If he was a deputy like, um, you know, he had... Pius Odubu, then he can contest for a position, uh, you know, higher than what he has before, which is a governorship position. But he has served in the highest office in Edo State, number one citizen of Edo. So he does not have that opportunity to come back. But you know what has been happening? His name has been on repeat. I mean, even more prominent than the very contestant of um, APC, the governorship candidate in um, Edo State elections slated for September the 19th. So what is happening right now is that they are counting the uh, Adam Sushumole as one of the people, uh, one of the hurdles to cross, one of the people to be beaten uh, for uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki to emerge governor again in Edo State. But guys, let's guys straight into the news and get all the details. Edo leaders, Obaseki will beat Oshomole Ize Iyamu hands down. Obaseki will beat them, I can tell you, because Oshomole has said something. I will throw caution into the wind. This man is full of vengeance and is so much in a haste to get his pan of flesh. He urged ex-governor not to displace on energy on the September 19 election. The leaders has told him to shun and to cease fire. Prominent Edo leaders on Tuesday advised the All Progressive Congress National Chairman at busted one, by the way, comrade Adam Sushomole not to dissipate so much time and energy campaigning for APC governorship candidates. Pastor Usage Ize Iyamu and his running mate, Adu Ganim. Most people see Pastor Usage Ize Iyamu and Adu Gani as not possessing the leadership character required to lead Edo State in the new age, the leaders have said. They also accuse the former governor of overheating the political environment in Edo state and the fragment of democracy is much greater harm than what he's doing. Pastor Usage Ize Iyamu should get ready to suffer another defeat, they said, in a communion and a unique way made available to journalists in Benin City. The leaders describe Comrade Adam Sushomole as an obstacle to a better Edo state. They commended the good people of Edo state for abandoning Ize Iyamu and his simple agenda, his Shylock godfather Adam Sushomole. Governor Gordon Obaseki has come to take the people to the promised land. He has no problem crushing into victory. Adam Sushomole, Ize Iyamu are going to be crushed like a fly. Don't mean, they don't mean well for Edo State. He sees them as people who are preventing good and moving forward in Edo State. The leaders embarrass themselves by their words. Look at what Ize Iyamu said recently. How he was going to transform talks, which is a good plan, but... With a comma, what do we mean by that? Tony Kabaka, what is the plan? Are you planning to make him a commissioner, a House of Assembly member, or what exactly do you included? What have you included for them in the simple agenda?
They also stress on the reorientation of the mental attitude of the population, the education, health, and the whole environment particularly. Specifically, they underscore the welfare of the workers, urban development, industrial growth, security, social value, and road construction. There is a lot to show for internal generated revenue as well as risk accrual for the federal account. The unique signature of the chairman, Obaseki Philip Shaibu's victory movement is obvious for all to see. Chief John Obore described Governor Gordon Obaseki as an incorruptible, transparent, honest man. The leader praised the incumbent governor for engaging in integrating development, ensuring the flow of real investment and bringing prosperity to a dual state. PDP is a party that has solid structure across the state. Edo people remain the best judge of that. September 19 is a time for them again to pick on a new governor. They hold Governor Gordon Obaseki in high esteem because of the positive change he has enhanced in the state. We are very confident that Obaseki and Philip Shaibu are going to win the September 19 election. Well, these are leaders uh, speaking in a dual state saying that they are very sure and uh, they are very sure that all things being equal, he's going to win. Governor Gordon Obaseki is going to win these elections. Uh, so these leaders, John and the rest of them, uh, they said Obaseki has done so much more that the people of Edo State are right behind him. They trust his judgment, the development he has brought into Edo State, and as such, they are ready to embrace him again and again. And um, Edo people are always the good sense of, you know, character, those who wants to judge and, you know, uh, by their votes come September the 19th. They are getting ready and they are going to be voting by September the 19th. And so they intend that they will win this election again. Edo State's election is a very prominent one, not only local, but has gone international in the sense that uh, this has implicated even the chief of staff to President Muhammad Buhari with regards to some of the things that have happened. Uh, Adam Sushumole was in, uh, it was in the uh, presidential villa and a lot of matter came up with this uh, issue. Adam Sushumole uh, was caught in a video discussing with the person of uh, Ibrahim Gambari talking about arrest. That's all we heard, but PDP has gone ahead and has issued a press statement saying, this it's uh, a, a revealing fact that the intent to you know arrest pdp uh, members those who are strongly who are strong pdp members just before the election these are people who intend to cause mayhem and to destabilize the people democratic party just before the election they said these people you know and um, they are even calling on the international community and they are asking that their uh, diplomatic uh, uh, passport be revoked so that they cannot travel you know this has gotten up all there and everybody's kind of wondering when what next well at those states you are the true ju judge of the character of what will happen next the ball is in your court for you to pick leaders who you feel can govern a dual state properly bring about tangible development and um, make a dual state move forward the ball is in your court you are the one to determine what will happen in the forthcoming days uh, don't forget to like or share subscribe god bless you have a fantastic day from us it's bye for now